I sat the TMUA in the October 2024 sitting and I got a 4.5. Now I know that's only slightly above average and that's not a great score. It's not a score which people are really aiming to get. But I know exactly where I went wrong. I know how to get a better score. I still managed to get into all of my top five unis, Cambridge, LSE, Imperial, KCL, UCL. And I know what the best tips are that I can give you to help you get the score that you want. And I know you might not believe me. You might be thinking, he got 4.5. Why should I listen to him? And you're right. You can click off this video if you want. But I do think you will benefit if you continue watching. I'm going to start off with my experience with the TMUA and then some of my best tips to help you prepare for both the October and January setting. And also I will be doing a Q&A. So there will be a Google form in the description where you can submit any questions that you might have for me that you want me to answer on a video. And join my Discord server, link is in the description. If you want your personal statement reviewed, everything is there in the description. Make sure you like and subscribe and let's get straight into it. Now let me tell you about my experience. I was only starting to prepare for the TMUA properly around the end of September. And that is a terrible time to start. It was a really tough term. I had my EPQ deadlines piling up on me. I had my UCAS personal statement needing to be perfected before I sended it off. And I had to prepare for the TMUA. On the side, I have formative exams in school. So I really, really should have started my TMUA prep really, really early. For the October sitting, ideally around the end of year 12, that is when the people that get the top scores realistically start to prepare. So if you haven't already started and you're sitting the October sitting, please get to work. It's not too late to, to get a decent score. I still managed to get a decent score and get into the top five unis. You can still do it if you put in effort. I was doing um, prep daily around the end of September. This time last year, I probably didn't even start. I'm telling you the last few days of September and October is when I did my prep. I think I took Monday, Tuesday off for my Wednesday test at school. Uh, I told him I was ill because I needed to stay home to cram as much as I could in because I was severely underprepared. And then I went in. I think I had an afternoon sitting for the TMUA. I walked to the test centre. In my head, I just had my music going on. I was like, whatever happens, happens. There's nothing I can do now. It's too late to start revising for the TMUA. Like Anything I do now, basically, is not going to help. And I went to the toilet before I went in because I was like, I need to, you know, I need to urinate. And I see my friend from my school. My friend told him, shout out, told him, man. He just came out of his TMUA test. He did it in the session before. He comes out, he's in the toilet. And he's like, yeah, I got absolutely cooked. Sorry, I told you if you don't want me to say this, but I've said it now. Hope you can forgive me if you didn't want it, but... He was telling me he got absolutely bummed. I think the exact words he used was, the TMUA bent me over. And I was like, bruh, is that peak? I was, I was like, oh shit, man, whatever happens, happens. In fact, one of my really close friends, Harsh, had sat in the morning and he was telling me that, yeah, it was really tough, man, really difficult paper one. It was fucking outrageous. I walked in not knowing what was going on, man. I sat at the computer. They gave me the whiteboard. It's like a like a reusable notebook kind of thing. It was really weird. I've never used it before, but I was filling it up. I was filling up my work here so quickly. And I had to give it back to them. And I was like, oh, I need a new one. I need a new one. I just put my hand up. You had to put your hand up so that you could get their attention. They should come into the room and give you a new thing. But sometimes the time delay, because there's only one person. And she was talking to some other kid. I was at the team, you were hammer, and I'm like, I need a fucking notebook. But yeah, I did it, man. Paper one was peak. I was broken at the end of paper one, and then I had to do paper two. I was like, when is this going to end? Time pressure, because I was spending too long on questions. I didn't know what was going on. I walked out completely broken. On my walk home, I was like, all the effort I put into my personal statement, into my applications, it's all for nothing. 
three of my uni choices were affected by the TMUA and I was like, wow, I'm going to do absolutely terrible. What am I going to do now? I went home, told my parents, they were like, no, nah, you're lying. My, my brother and my parents were like, no, nah, you're lying. You're lying. We know you did well. I was trying to tell them, bro, I got cooked and I did get cooked, man. But luckily, I got a good enough score to get my interviews and I smashed my interviews and I got into all five of my unis. Now, let's get into the tips. I have done this experience and I am very happy I don't have to do it again. Actually, let me tell you a quick story. When I told, when I came out of the flipping TMUA test centre, when I came out of the Pearson test centre, there was some guy here. Yeah. This guy was like, I don't know, he was like in his 20s. And he's telling me, he's, he's hitting a vape. He's like, what? You just done the TMUA? I was like, why is this grown man asking me about the TMUA? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, how was it? And I started telling him, yeah, it was peak, man. And he started telling me, this is like his fourth attempt at Cambridge Economics. And he was about to go into the TMUA. You know how crazy that is, blood. Just go to a different uni. It's not that deep. But yeah, man, that was quite funny. Let's get into the top tips now. Tip number one I'll give you is do not underestimate the TMUA. I have been good at maths, at further maths. I've always been at the top of my classes. I am good at maths. Well, in A-levels, I'm GCSEs, etc. everything. Growing up, I've been really good at maths. So I was like, TMUA, man, maths exam. And it's meant to be like year one content. Light work. Light work. I was in my head, I was like, yeah, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. So I delayed my prep and I severely underestimated. I only realised how hard it was when I started doing the past papers, man. Do not underestimate the TMUA, no matter how smart you think you are. Yes, you might be smart enough to do well in the TMUA, but do not underestimate it like I did. And my tip number two, it's start early, but if you're doing October saying it's too late to start early. But for you January guys, get on it, man. Get on your grind. And also be consistent with your prep, especially for the October sitting right now. You guys need to be doing daily prep, at least an hour daily working on the TMUA, doing the questions focusing on your time management, doing as much as you can. If you've done all the past papers, go do those math, MCQ questions, step questions, etc., etc. It will all overlap. But be consistent right now, every single day. And even for you January guys, be consistent with your revision. And as you get closer to your date, you need to be doing hours. The TMUA needs to be one of your sole priorities because it is very important. If you do manage to get a good TMUA score, it will put you in a stupendous place, man. Amazing place, great place. You will be a very strong applicant if you have a strong TMUA. Because the TMUA is something which differentiates those guys who are actually really smart and those who are just a, a victim of grade inflation and their school predicts them all A stars and they're applying to Cambridge, LSE, etc. The TMUA differentiates the top students from the bottomers. So make sure you prioritise and this is your sole focus leading up to the exam. Number three, use R2 Drew 2. His TMUA playlist is incredible. I've watched every video on it. That was literally what I was cramming in. He's got videos specified to TMUA style questions where he's got techniques, etc. I learned new techniques just for the TMUA off R2 Drew 2. R2 Drew 2, sorry. And they were good. They were really, really helpful. Watch all his videos. Even if you have done a question correctly on a past paper, he does past paper walkthroughs. Even if you have done it right, best believe R2 Drew 2 has done it in a better way, in a shorter way, in a quicker way. And you want to be quick. That leads me on to my next top tip. If you don't know how to do a question, please move on. Don't waste your time trying to figure it out. Come back later because... If you are too engulfed in early questions, the early questions are typically easier. Once you get to like past 10, they start to get a bit harder and the last ones are fucking difficult. Do not spend too long because it's still possible that question 14, 15, you actually know how to do and you're able to do and question 11, you're not. So don't spend too long. Get to the next question, get working, get all the marks you can. Every mark counts in the TMUA. I think every mark can put you up by 0.5 of a TMUA score, and that is crazy. So yeah, 
please, please, please work on that time. Be quick, be efficient. For some reason, as I was editing this video, my Mac was bugging, man. I have no audio. I don't know if you guys realise, but in the previous clips, my mic was not actually on. It was just my phone microphone, but we'll get that sorted out for the next video. But my last tip was to think graphically. If you're able to draw a graph, plot a graph, it will be so much better, so much more easier than going for an algebraic approach. And this is not just for the TMUA. This is for A-level maths, further maths as well. Thinking graphically, actually being able to see and visualise what's being asked in the question is so much better. For standard questions, I'm pretty sure it's a standard question in the TMUA. It's like, how many solutions does this have? Um, just draw the graph. Try and draw a graph if you can. And being able to see it will actually help you understand the question as well. You don't know how to answer a question. Draw what you can and maybe you'll be able to figure it out from there. With the TMUA, it's all about getting a start. Start to answer the question. You might not know how to do it exactly, but when you have the first few steps, you know what to do at the beginning. You're able to realise what you're actually meant to do. So that is my last tip. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and sub and get me monetized, man. It's about time. It's about time I get monetized. And if I get monetized, I'll be motivated to make more videos. I'm starting LSE soon. Q&A, Google form in the description. Thank you for watching.